there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT Server tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to ad hoc file transfers. Ad hoc email transfers offer a method in which users of the MFT Server web client can email files to any valid email address while avoiding the problems typically associated with emailing files. Let me show you how it works. Let's assume we're a registered user on the server. Now, we log in via the MFT Server web client. Here we see a couple of files in our main folder and a couple more files in this subfolder. Let's just select everything and then click Email Files. You can either enter an email address here or select from your list of contacts. Let's say we want to email these files to this guy. You might want to put something into the message body. Here are the files we selected earlier. Notice you have the option to specify how many days you want the download links to remain valid, how many times you want the recipient to download the files, and whether to automatically delete the files after the maximum download limit has been reached. Let's send this out now. And see how it looks like on the receiving end. Here we are on the recipient's email client. Unlike a typical email client that attaches files to an email message and sends the email message to the recipient, ad hoc email transfers send a very small email message with one or more automatically generated web-based links embedded in the body of the message. These links provide information on the file sent and allow the recipient to download the file at their own leisure. So if the user is ready to download the files, he simply clicks the links to download them. Ad hoc email transfers provide the following benefits. Avoid bounced emails due to large file attachments or strict firewall rules at the email server. Avoid clogging recipient's inbox with large file attachments and allowing the recipient to download files at their convenience. Email multiple files or even entire directories with ease. Receive optional notification when the recipient picks up the files. Streamline document collaboration both internally and with customers. Restrict access to content after a given period of time. And enable emailing of files to users who don't have user accounts on the server. Let me now show you what you need to configure on Jscape MFT server to realize these benefits. Log into the Jscape MFT Server Manager and make sure that the HTTP or HTTPS service is running. If you don't know how to do this, check out the video how to set up web file transfer by clicking the link that appears or by clicking the link in the description. Next, go to Server, Settings, Email, and enable the email service. Enter all pertinent information. After that, go to the Ad Hoc File Transfer tab and enable Ad Hoc Email Transfers. Notice that you can specify things like when you want links to be valid, maximum downloads, whether the email links will be password protected, and many of the other settings you saw earlier. When you're done, click Apply. Let's go to the Contacts node. This is where we added the email contacts you saw earlier. That's it! Now you know how to set up file transfers with Jscape. 